Hi everyone, it's Paul Kalita here again with another Zap quiz where I get a friend to ask me 10 quiz questions. If I get one wrong, I get an electric shock from this net color. Mim's in control. Hi, Mim. Mim's enjoying herself a bit too much. I am. With the, uh, I am really am. Today's guest question asker. He's an Australian comedian. He's one of Australia's top comedians. He has his own TV show on Channel 10 called Husey. We have a problem. It's Dave Husey Hughes. Glee mate. It's great to, uh, I mean, I felt like we haven't caught up like this since the other night when we had that Zoom Friday night beers. Remember that? Yes. Well, you weren't drinking, obviously. Mate, I was having a zero beer. I was drinking. I was, it's, it's beer. It's got no alcohol in it, but it's beer. And, and I felt part of the gang. Well, can I, can I ask, you about, ask you about the zero beers? Because we've tried a couple and they, they, they just weren't doing it for well, us. They're not going to be, mate. You're not, you're not going to get what you get with the alcohol. There's no doubt about that. But for me, who doesn't want to drink and hasn't had a drink for 27 years, it, it makes me feel like I'm part of the team. So, uh, well, you know, I'll, so I'm, yeah. can I ask you about that Zoom meeting the other night where we had the catch up? When I left and I put the com computer down, one of the people on the, on the Zoom said, thank fuck he's gone. Now, that was a joke, wasn't it? Do you remember that? Of course like it that. would have been because <laughs> it ended on a very serious issue <laughs> that somebody, somebody, had, somebody had brought up. Uh, it, wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have been me, of course. No. <laughs> and like, we, it, it was so serious we can't even talk about it now. But it, I know. There, it, was some, it, there was some it, moments there that it, it did, I had to explain to my uh, wife and children why I was laughing. In the... it, cut, <laughs> it did cut a nerve that we weren't expecting. But because we're all friends, we got through it. I, I reckon it would have been one of the people who, were, who felt a bit awkward about where yeah, the conversation no, I, went. And this I, is of no use to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> we might have cut this bit. In fact, I think we need no, to... I think what it does happen is everyone's having Zoom meetings now yes. and you, you'll press your computer and think you've turned off and then someone will talk about you and you, you can still hear them and you're like, oh my God, was it a uh, joke or not? Are they, am I, should I be uh, paranoid? Or... Uh, uh, it obviously would have been. It would have been a joke because, because we all love you and I haven't helped you in narrow, narrowing it down who, who it was, but it definitely wasn't me. <laughs> <definitely wasn't laughs> now, Dave, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Mim's, Mim's, in, Mim's in control of the... Um, Great. No, I, I, I think, yeah, I, we're on the side of giving him more than less. Him, how, right? so, how okay. was, that is not what I needed to hear. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy with Mimba Control. I mean, she'll get all her frustration. How, all her ISO frustration she'll get out during this quiz, which is great. Yeah, well, she has. Yeah. She certainly has been. How, how are you coping with the whole ISO situation, mate? Uh, look, you know what? You, you can see my background here. I mean, I'm... I'm all advertising the hit network. We're doing the radio show from 5 to 7 p.m. every afternoon with me and Ed Cavalier. So um, I can do that from home, which is great. Now we've got three kids. We're homeschooling the kids. So that's, um, there's, there's issues there. So um, my wife's a teacher, so she's got to go to school some days. So I've got the kids all day. And I, I leave them at home sometimes to go get their lunch. And then they say I'm away too long. That's you know, so. <laughs> A lot of things going it's, on. It's, it's not often. It's not often at schooling where the teacher's actually wagging, which is. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Exactly. No, but it's it's a great opportunity for you, for you to spend more time with your kids. Ah, uh, yes. They're they're a hell of a lot of fun, and yeah, uh, we're, well, having, I'm we're having a really good time. I'm a bit worried with you homeschooling them that they may have to re repeat this year. <laughs> <the next> year. <laughs> It's a lot of gaps in the schedule. I go, what do you do? Know? <laughs> we don't know. I said, why not? I've been, I've, I've been enjoying this time. Uh, we've, done, we've set up a home gym, so we've got a very structured day. And the best thing about uh, the isolation is you get a chance to follow up on those home projects that you've been putting off, like you know, making, making my bed and <laughs> doing the dishes. It's a great no excuses there. Yeah. We bought it. We bought, like my wife ordered a three cubic metres of stones the other day and they got tipped into the front driveway. And so, but we didn't have a wheelbarrow. So I'm like, what are we going to do? So the kids were just, we're just with buckets, we were just taking them to the front of the back. It's like, we're, we're it's in like a prison. It's like a chain gang. It was. Like, oh. <laughs> You're calling the shots from the lounge and the kids uh, are carrying buckets of stones. You know what? I put, I, put it on, I put the photo on Instagram with this massive uh, pile of stones and 
someone who lives across the road or I don't even know follows me on Instagram and sent me a direct message saying, mate, I've got a wheelbarrow if you want it. And so <laughs> oh, I walked across the road to get the wheelbarrow. He wasn't home though, but his two boys were home. So I pressed the buzzer and said, I'm here to get the wheelbarrow. And they said, okay. And then they just didn't come out with a wheelbarrow for like 10 minutes. I'm standing in front of the house thinking, do I press again? What do I do? I want this wheelbarrow. Eventually I did. I pressed again. I said, what's going on with the wheelbarrow? And they're like, oh yeah, we'll get to it. I mean, you'll get to it. Can I just have the wheelbarrow? <laughs> They're on, they're on the phone to the, to the police going, there's some weird guy in front of the house. I know, I'm just standing out there. That's funny, yeah. like, often you go to your neighbours to borrow some sugar or an egg, he's just knocking the door going, come a wheelbarrow, please. I know, they said, they said the wheel wasn't pumped up. I said, I'll pump the wheel up. Just, <laughs> just give it to me. But, yeah. Who's got a wheelbarrow with a flat tyre? How does it? And where, well, you know. I've, I've never, where do you keep the spare tyre on a wheelbarrow? I've never seen... You're not going to call the RACB and say, oh, I'm a wheelbarrow. Can you, come back? Can you come around and change it? Now, Yuzi. Yes. You've got, you've got a radio show to do, so let's get started. Yes, there, we need to do this, absolutely. I've, I've spent a lot of time on these questions, by the way. It's the most preparation I've done for any gig of, in the last possibly 10 years. <laughs> well, really more preparation I'm, than for the radio show I'll do this afternoon. He says that. I'm impressed. But Yuzi is one of the most professional... Hughes is a great example for any up and coming young comedians. He's got so much talent. He's a great writer and a performer of it. He crafts a joke so well, but he works so hard. And people often say to me, you know, these guys that have made it, how, I go, they've got talent, but it's like any job, you've got to work hard. And Hughes, Hughes just tried to palm that off and go, oh, this is the most work I've done, but he's, I've, worked with him, I've worked with him a lot. He's a professional, but I certainly appreciate you putting the time in today. And I've spent way too much time pumping him up. <laughs> I need to put it back. Like he, he doesn't need for some wind, some so you've, you've chosen so a topic. I have. And, and I know you love sport. I've spent many years with you working on before yeah. the game. We discuss sport. We used to discuss sport every Saturday afternoon uh, during winter. So and uh, so I know you're keen, man. Uh, I've got the Olympics. The Olympics have been like poor Tokyo. We're preparing for the Olympics and they're off till next year. So... I thought let's focus on the Olympics and see how see how poor college you goes here. Yeah. I, I like that topic. Uh, it's one that people at home can play along with. And look, I love my sport. I love watching the Olympics. I, I've got no idea how much I, I know about it, but I think we're about to find out. <laughs> we're going to find out. You're going to get you're going to get zapped a bit here, but yeah. I, you know, some of them you need to think about a bit, all right? And, and think yeah. of the first one, question one, for example. Here we go. Yeah, we're off. Yes. Finger on the yeah. button. Yeah. Here we go. I'm ready. How many gold medals, this is the Olympics, how many gold medals does, does Usain Bolt currently own? How many golds? Oh, Olympic gold medals. Olympic gold medals. Currently, and that's important, currently. Good first question. Um, what do you mean currently? Yeah, wow. Well, oh, my God. Really does he have... On the, is it... Is it are you saying he's under a cloud? He's going to lose his Olympic gold medals? Is what's Ooh. I'm saying one of them may have been. Oh, I'm helping you out here because I'm going to get oh, yes. absolutely one this of them. One, yeah, one of his, one of the guys in the relay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So how many? How many uh, I, so I was. Oh, so there's individual and the relay. Yeah. He would have. I reckon he may have had. From two Olympics, four gold, four gold medals, lost one, he's down to three. I'd say three gold medals. Man, give him a real good one. Oh! <laughs> oh. You really, you've underplayed him, man. He, he, he got three gold medals, three Olympics in a row. He had nine gold medals, oh. 100, 200, and the relay. For, from, starting from 2008, 2012, 2016, he was the king of the Olympics, but 2008, he lost the relay gold medal because only in 2017, they retested his teammate Nesta Carter's uh, sample and was found to contain a banned substance. So he lost one of them, so he's got eight. Right. And I said three, I was, but you know, so it was good, but I mean, where is he now? <laughs> where is he now? He got, he got cut, he got cut from an A-League a team in Australia. That's where he's going. Was now. it the Central Coast Mariners? He couldn't play. Yeah. No, but he's, he's had a good time. I don't know where he's now. All right. <laughs> Number two. Question two. At what Winter Olympics did Steve Bradbury win gold? And I'll accept the year or the city or both of your life. What Winter Olympics? 
Oh, it's tough, I know, but... I would say it's in the 90s. No, I'm going to say you're wrong there because I don't want you to get charged again, all right? So... <laughs> I'm, just, I'm thinking it through. I'm thinking it through. He talks it through. No. So the Winter oh. Olympics are the two years... Like the, the alternate, years. yeah. So, okay, I'll, I will say... Two thousand and six. Oh, give him again, man! Oh, oh. 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 He's, he's two, not enjoying this as much. Two thousand and two, Salt Lake City. We know that the, this doing a Bradbury is a term that we all can use now because everyone else fell over in the final. Yeah. So he won gold. But what people may not remember is every uh, all these all the people fell over in the semi final as well. Yes. He only got to the final because everyone fell over in the semi-final. He should never. And they have... fell over again in the final. So there you go. He should never have been there. Yeah, oh, crazy. All right, number three. Let's hope you get this one. When Kathy Freeman was to light the cauldron during the opening ceremony of the 2000 Olympic Games, uh, the world was stuck waiting because of a technical glitch. The cauldron wasn't. Didn't you remember this? We we're all yes. watching the. Was it? Was the glitch for more or less? than three minutes, 30 seconds, more or less. Do we wait for more or less than that? Come on, mate. This is a 50-50 chance with no knowledge. This is, I, 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 remember, I remember watching it and I remember waiting. Painful. And it was very painful. <laughs> Not as painful as this. <laughs> uh, I would say more than three minutes. Yes. Oh, he's done it. Yeah. Charge. It, it was, felt it did it felt like ten minutes to be honest. What you yeah, it was three minutes fifty one seconds where all of Australia was watching and hoping we weren't gonna be laughed at for the rest of our lives by the world. That didn't they, change. And, you know what, it, and they were worried it was a, te a computer glitch, but they also worried that they were gonna run out of gas. And so because you remember it had to do the it had to go up the Boy, sort of yes. had to, the gas thing had to go right up through some sort of you know, sort of it was on a pulley system, and it, they were worried about coming out. Of it, yeah. If they had to run out of a if they had to run out of gas, imagine the Olympic organisers calling a plumber to come and fix that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't. I get there next Tuesday. Uh, oh, everyone, everyone wants it done before Christmas. Yeah, yeah. That would have <laughs> taken forever. All right, here we go. Uh, 2016 Rio Games. Did Australia win more? I'm going to do more or less than 10 gold medals at the 2016 okay, Rio game. That's fairly recent. And it's a lot of fun. A, I've got a funny feeling that if we didn't do that well, we would have, we would have partied really well, but I'd say less than 10. You're right. It was eight gold medals, and that was the lowest total since 1992. How embarrassing for us. Yeah, a shocker. And you, but you're going, well, you're, you're redeeming yourself. <laughs> here we go. Number five. What was a... And we're going back in time in here. What was yeah. Australian sprinter Marjorie Jackson's nickname? And I'll give you a hint. It includes the town she's from. Yes. It is the, it's the something flash. Yes. What flash? Let's go. Yes. Oh, come God. on. <laughs> Where did that flash? <laughs> so yes, the that Lisco flash. She won two Olympic gold medals and was the world record holder. This Aussie girl, Marjorie Jackson, was the world record holder in the 100 meters, which she won in the Helsinki 52 World uh, not, the 52 Olympics. Her world record was 11.5 seconds. She won 200 meters in the same Olympics. Whoa, there you go. You have done so much research. Oh, I, I, love, I just love the Lisco Flash. I love her name. I thought, yeah. was, I thought it was Betty Lisco. I thought it was someone called Betty Lisco. Yeah, and I actually Betty had Cuthbert. to... I Googled it. Yeah, there's so, Betty Cuthbert. There was, a, uh, <laughs> there was no Betty Lisco. I was really combining the two. There's a, there's a guy uh, in Lisco now, in that, now known as the Lisco Flash. But that's for different, different reasons. <laughs> He's not covering himself in glory. No, <laughs> right. oh, yes. Here we go. That's number six. Yeah. The rowing awesome foursome, who we know, yeah, the yes. awesome foursome. Yes. Cox was four. They won two gold medals and a silver at three Olympics. Uh, you need to sing a line of their famous advertising jingle. 
you need to go now. I only need a few words, but you need to go now and you won't get buzzed. Come on. It was, it was for a uh, fruit. Yes, come um, on. Yeah. Come Best on, here we go. Come on, I'd three words we need, three words. Come on. SPC, uh, yeah. rip, better, yeah. grow, grow. Come on. Yeah. We're happy little Benjamin. No, I'm going to give you I can't remember the song. No, it involves fruit. Come on. Apricots. No, buzz in, buzz in. Furry. They're furry. Buzz in, buzz in. Give it to him, man. Oh. <laughs> Peaches, mangoes, peaches, peaches, mangoes, peaches. That's <laughs> Is that it? I'm no. Gonna, no, I, I can't believe I couldn't remember. <laughs> you that. remember that, though, don't you? Peaches, yeah, I mean, mangoes, peaches. I, re I, I remember the ad, and it was a really good question. I should, but I. You can't remember peaches, mangoes, peaches. No, I can't. Babe. <laughs> you can, Mim. Can you remember peaches, man peaches, mangoes, I peaches? The line. I remember the ad. I remember. Like, I remember the, the ad. I remember. I remember it was an ad for a fruit company. <laughs> And I, I mean, I know the, the lyrics are very special. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, peaches, mangoes, peaches. I, will go. <laughs> I think it was peaches, mangoes, peaches. Well, on, you're oh. asking the question. I I feel like it was definitely peaches and mangoes, but was it peaches again or was there another fruit? You I'm see, pretty sure it was peaches again. Juicy's gone hard at the research. After <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he's, he slacked off after that. No, towards the end, I started to slack off. All right. Here we go. Number seven. Yes. Kieran Perkins won two 1500 meter gold medals and he, and he also won a silver. But the 1500 meter golds were in 92 and 96. Yes. In 96, he wasn't favourite. He was very lucky to get to the final. He won the gold medal from lane eight. Who was the oh, other was Australian? <laughs> <laughs> who was the other Australian in the final who actually went in as favourite? What was his name? Daniel, come on. Daniel Kalowski. Oh, come on. Just what? Daniel. Oh, oh no. Sorry. I was going to give him a second chance there because what did you, how did you say his last name? Daniel Kowalski. Kowal yes. Now. Oh, I take that back. Kowalski. Can you take that back? I, I don't think we're going to give that to him. I did say it, in, I did say it incorrectly. I felt you said Kowalski, didn't you? I did say Kowalski. <laughs> like, yeah, it wasn't Kowalski. No, it was I was going to give you a second chance to make it better, but, but Mim really I, I jumped, jumped in. I jumped in. I got there. I got, yeah, but I, I got there eventually. But yeah, no, that, was, that, was, that, was one of the, that was one of the greatest Olympic events Wins. and performances by someone I've ever seen at Kieran Perkins. Right. Yeah. Everyone, everyone wrote him off. He scraped into the final. That was... That was amazing. I, I shared a helicopter ride with Kieran Perkins recently, in fact. And um, <laughs> going where? Where were you going? Going to the Australian uh, Moto GP. Yeah, actually, you know what? It wasn't a helicopter ride. It was a limo. It wasn't a limo. It was a car ride after I got off a helicopter. I was on the helicopter with <laughs> Sally Pearson, who's also an Olympic gold medal. You know Sally Pearson, no, the so. um, the hurdler. No, no, so hurdler. Yeah, I was in the I was in the chopper with her. Anyway, got out of the chopper, and I'm in a car, and um, a guy behind me said, "Hi, I'm Kieran." And I said, "Hey, mate." And then the, the driver said, you need to turn around. And I turned around and it was bloody Karen Perkins. Of course I need to turn around. This is like Husey's, Husey's own version of playing trains in automobiles. Yeah. Except he's the John Candy character that everybody's stuck with. In the, in the different vehicles. All right, we're nearly there. All right, here we go. Yes. I reckon you might be able to get this one. Which city has hosted the most Summer Olympic Games? And they've hosted one in the last decade, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna help you out there. Come on, which city? London? Yes, he's oh. done. I knew that had a, I knew that had a few. 1908, 1948, and 2012. And they only hosted 1908 because Rome was meant to host. Uh. Sadie, Sadie, we're doing a podcast. Hi, so, Sadie. Right. Oh, hey, Sadie. Hello you are. She says, she says, <laughs> they, they interrupt all the time. All right, they only hosted 1908. Because Rome was meant to host, but uh, Mount Vesuvius erupted and the city of Naples got covered in lava. So that's why London oh, that's, hosted that one. That's a poor excuse <laughs> to cancel. <Yeah. laughs> but now we cancel things because of a bloody little, tiny little virus. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Bit of flu. Here we go. You'll get last this question. Right. Who, is this the last question? Second, second is this is the second last, right? Second. Yeah. Who got, but this is number nine. Who got busted for steroids after winning the 1988 100 meter gold medal? And what country are they from? 
come on, steroids, yes, 98. Yes, I know. I, I remember this. I do remember this. Um, it was Ben Johnson. Yes, and what country are they was from? US, I think he was from oh, Canada. Chicago. Yes, he oh! did it! <laughs> that was really good. good. All right, bring it home, last one. You'll last get, question, here we go. I reckon you'll get this. This is an Australian legend. Who was the only Australian to win gold medals at three different Olympics? And what Olympics were they? And what event did she win them in? Oh, so it's a female. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, I helped you out there. Come on. <laughs> three different Olympics, same event. Legend of Australian sport. Legend of world sport. Come on, you can do this. This is, I'm really angry now if you don't get this. Oh, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> There's a few people who could, uh, all right. Here we go. I've got this. You'll be very proud of me. Was Dawn Fraser 100 meters yes. swimming? Woo! Yeah. What, what Olympics? Just I want to charge you one more time. What, which was the first one, second one, and third one. In the third one, she stole the flag of the cunt home country and got banned. Remember that? She might have got four in a row. Yes, that was, oh. that was I think that was the Tokyo Olympics. Where she yes, that was the last one. one. So, so I'm, on the, I'm on the right track here. That was Sorry, 64. I'm, so I was going to go back three. So... The, 56 was in Melbourne. She got yes, that. you've got it. For, to not get charged, if you remember where the 1960 Olympics was, you will not get charged here. I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you out. No volcano erupted Rome. that year. Rome, he's done it. He's Dude. done it. You, you've made me proud of myself. Yeah. Today. This and is just one more thing. If you put my face into that, remember that age, uh, aging sort of app they had where you got to look older yes if you do that with my face twice if you double dip me i look exactly like dawn fraser <laughs> <laughs> people can google that that will come that is, up that is awesome I, I talked to her about it on radio and she was happy about it what a bloody that great is awesome what a and and what an australian legend to be compared to that i'll be exactly. very proud of you are so hugely just he always finds a way yeah. to make it work. <laughs> Husey, such a pleasure. I really appreciate you taking the time to have, have a bit of fun with us. Uh, thank you so much. And we'll chat soon, buddy. There's so much to this man. He's a legend of Australian comedy. He has been for a long time. I love you, man. Yeah. Uh, love you guys. Cheers. Thank fuck he's gone. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> it was you. It was him. It wasn't me. It was him. Mate, I love you, mate. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.